Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we are going to be removing this chime box. As you can see, it's all apart. Um, one of the chimes is completely broke off on the side. It's just nasty, yucky, needs to be rebuilt. First thing, when you do any work on your machine, make sure it's unplugged. Second, this has a Jones plug, so take a picture of how the Jones plug is plugged in. I have already done that and you can see I already got it unplugged. Next it's got three screws. Yeah this one has three screws. It's got one on the bottom and two on the top. These do not have to be fully removed from what I see. It looks like we can just loosen them. Yeah. When you loosen them, it looks like it will just slide up and come out. There. Yep. What we're going to be redoing is there's a pad in here. This is all dry rotted. This pad's coming out. We're going to put new sleeves in every one of these coils. Um, I'm going to clean all the dirt off this, make it all pretty looking again. So, first thing, I'm going to disassemble it so I can clean it. Alright, let's get on to that. Alright, we got it out on the machine. Excuse my mess. I just want to take a picture. Of how the coils are in there because they're going to be completely out. I just want to make sure each one goes in the correct spot. This way I can match up all the wires and everything. It shouldn't be too hard the way the wire is laid out. But this I want to totally clean. Just got a couple screws that hold it all together. I have this little bowl here. I put all my screws in. There we go. Now this I will take to the sink and scrub off. These I will just keep like that. You don't need to get mixed up or anything. I do have the rebuild kit right here. It's got all the new pieces in it, new rubber, all the spacers that we need, and instructions on how to put it together. So what I'm probably gonna do is take this to the sink and um, just scrape this off. Well, I'm gonna try to peel as much of it off as I can throw it in the garbage and then scrape the rest off dry it off make sure it's nice and dry and this is full of um, the powder from the coils and just dirt and everything over the years this rubber disintegrating you can see how bad it was that it's totally ate away at where it's supposed to bounce off so let's get this cleaned up and I'll get right back to you all right, you can see I got it all nice and clean, except for the coils. I'm gonna start putting this back together. First, I gotta get my phone out of my pocket. First thing we're gonna do is get this hunk of sticky tape foam. This goes right along the bottom there. That's the cushion for the um, plungers when they after they smack. This is all cleaned off completely, but I do want to get this corner here. This is clean. I do want to take and wipe this down with alcohol just to get any little bit of residue I had left from cleaning off of it. I always do that with anything that um, I'm going to stick to. 
this way because when I cleaned you know cleaned it and then after I dried it off I did have um you know fingerprints on it and this way for sure and look it even took a little bit of that gunk off still that I couldn't get with the scrubby but otherwise it's pretty clean I did scrape um all this off with a, with a razor blade and a scrubby pad but there is just a little bit left in that crack there but that's not going to affect anything and okay, we'll take this let's take this this is clean for sure and we'll dry that off to make sure there's no residue left this like I said it just lines right in there perfectly like that so let's figure out we got a little bit on each side I'm going to peel this a little bit like this just so I can get it aligned good Here we go. Make sure to press that down real good to make sure all the glue sticks from the rubber foamy pad down to the metal. I'm pretty sure you only get one shot on this. So make sure you got a plan good. And that'll be perfect. Perfect. All right, let's put this back on here. Two screws and my long screwdriver. I did um, thoroughly dry all these parts off real good before I'm putting them back together. The coils, I will clean those off too. Put that in loosely until I get this next one started. These you want to make sure they're tight. They do got lock washers on them, so. Okay, those are nice and tight. That part's done. All right, we got that there. That's garbage. Let's put this over my little garbage pile. We're gonna take my glass cleaner. And where did I put that other paper towel up here? I'm gonna pull the old um, coil sleeves out because those are garbage. Move that out of the way. Yeah, nasty. And I'm gonna not spray them, I'm gonna spray my paper towel. I'm just gonna wipe them off. Do they need to be wiped off? No. Do they look neater, cleaner, wiped off? Yes. I just like, um, if I'm taking them apart, I'd like to put everything back together clean. As clean as I can get them. Be careful around these wires where they um, hook up to the coil. You don't want to break one of them off. If you do, you got to resolder it. If you break it too far off inside, then you're getting a new coil.
just patting down the wire just to um, get it all nice and clean just so the wire looks a little bit better all right these are the instructions they come with that kit so these new pieces That's different. Oh. We will need to loosen this up a little bit. When I tighten up that top plate, it was off whack a little bit so I couldn't get these screws threaded. There we go, that part's all together. Remember it plugs in a machine like that. Alright, the next part. We are going to be using... Where's the bag? There it goes. These foam pieces. The foam pieces. These will go on. Let's put these on first. Those are heat shrink. I should get a lighter and heat shrink them onto there. Let's do that. I'll be right back and I got a dead battery anyways. Alright, we're back. I can't see anything with the glare from the light. Okay. These are heat shrink tube. So what we're going to do is heat shrink them on. They're not all cut perfect either. So they're all crazy on an angle and stuff. So I'm going to try to make these as straight as possible. Just a little bit more. I got scissors. I already got my scissors. So I can trim these a little bit better. That one's good. Now these will shrink a little bit. So this will be my first test one. All we need is that little shrink. It's perfect. 
perfect. Get a little shorter. It'll be good. A little bit. How's this one? A little bit. This one. A little bit. You know this next one's gonna be a lot. And that one. That one's gonna be a lot bit. I'm sorry for this mess you guys are seeing, but every time I do something, I make a mess. And when I stop doing it, I clean it up, and then I make a mess again. So I'm just like, I'll leave my mess here for a little bit. Just need a little heat on these just to shrink them. Not a lot. You can see how they shrink up pretty good. That's all they need. Alright, we got that done. Shrink tube. Now we can put these over the top. Make sure, because I moved it. You guys are still in the video. Alright. Now we're going to put the tone bars on. Now mine is backwards. This is the original one. No, I can't put the tone bars on because I need to get the plungers first. This is the original one that's left. You can see this had a hard life. So let's go get the plungers so we can put them back in there because if I put this together, you're not going to hear anything. So I'll be right back. All right, these are the plungers for the machine. And that's what strikes the, um, the notes. They go just like that, bang bang. Now I need to look up to see exactly which way they went back in. I believe they went in like this. But I want to make sure. So I need to look at my phone. Like I said, take pictures. Alright, I'm back. The E's do go in this way. As you can see, you do get a bounce to them. Because they um, bounce off that rubber foamy strip that we put on there. Otherwise, you get a chime from the bottom, too. Alright, we got the foamy things on. We got the heat shrink tubing around each thing. So now we're going to put the chime bars on. I got these from Marco. They come in a bag. Saved a bag. Reason why is I put parts in there. Screws, washers, whatever. Except this one's got a hole in the corner, so that one's garbage. Alright. On mine, the chimes are backwards. On yours, they're probably going to go the other way. Mine is a superstar. So the big chime is on this side, small chime's on that side. This is the original one. It's still good. You can see it's been mashed up. Uh, billion times from the plunger hitting that. That's why I'm putting it over here so the plunger hits this spot now. That goes like that. Now we put our washers on. These just go over the top like that. No rocket science there. Now we 
got our bars. These are cleaned. I wish I had my grinder here and I'd wire wheel them, make them a lot cleaner. And then this bar goes through like that and it locks them down. So nice sounding. I don't know when this chime box got destroyed on this machine. Like I said, when I got it, it was in pieces. And these, I am going to take my players and um, get them a little tighter on there. Just because I don't want this chime box blowing apart like that other one did. I don't think it will. But I noticed on my Captain America or, or my Swinger that one of these was vibrated way out. It was almost popped out so I think I am going to pinch these ends down to make it um, more solid. There you go. An upgraded well, not really upgraded. Well, compared to what I had, this is an upgraded. Wow, that is tight. I'm going to have to use the bigger pliers. But yeah, I'm just going to um, pinch these down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to just get a pl bigger pliers. Because that's some tight metal right there. It's hard. So that's about it. And it just goes back in the machine. Written in reverse order. You plug it back in, and you get um, chimes again. Whenever I hear that, I always think of Grease. The beginning of the movie where, when the principal decides to make a, a speech, and the secretary's like, and then that lady goes like that and makes her stop. But that always reminds me of that. Some little blurb thing. Anyways, yeah, this just goes back in the same way. Slide it down over those screws, tighten them up, and that's it. Make sure, like I said, you took a picture of your Jones plug, how it went in. Mine is really easy. The way it's bent like that, you can't put it in any other way. Plus, you can see how the Jones plug is on the back, how it's got the long end here. It won't let you flip it over and put it in backwards. So that's a good thing. And this little tag, it was on it. It says Chime 2087. And that will stay on just for like history, nostalgia, whatever. So, like I said on mine, I am going to get a bigger players and bend these a little tighter so they can't slide over that end. Because like I said on my Swinger, one of these was slid back and almost popped out. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways... Like, share, and subscribe to our videos so you can get the latest updates at Mark's Basement Arcade on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. And um, share with your friends. And um, give us some thumbs up if you um, enjoyed this video on how to rebuild a chime box. And like I said, this is out of a uh, Williams Superstar. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day.